Hey, good Tuesday morning, folks. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. We don't have any blockbuster storm systems to talk about in the next week, but we have two or three decent little snows. Uh, one going on today, this morning, into the afternoon, and it's causing some uh, snowy roads in some places. Let's get to it and show you what talking about here okay all right so the arctic front is through obviously if you've stepped out the door you know that if you haven't stepped out the door the arctic front is through and that means it's a lot colder and temperatures will be going down through the day so if you're still in the 30s in the far southeast you'll be into the 20s and everybody will be into the 20s here shortly so this is this is lake effect behind the Arctic front and around Kalamazoo they're reporting about an inch that was as of an hour ago or so yikes nine degrees in Escanaba thanks for the report Jason Willett and good morning Tom Degmitter uh, so this is where you're seeing the lake effect snow and that band is at times coming along I-94 I'll show you the radar forecast in just a moment so anywhere in this area you could expect stretches small stretches that get kind of snowy here and then larger stretches on the west side of the state i-94 196 uh, 131 uh, one or two bands of lake effect up in northern lower michigan north of the traverse city area through gaylord across, running across i-75 so you'll run into a uh, probably a 20 mile section there and then some lake effect up across the uh, up just a little closer look here uh, where you see the green that's some pretty good snowfall coming from Kalamazoo right now through southwest side of Grand Rapids uh, into the Holland area and let's shift over to the east side of the state and just show you that not as much as far as snowfall going on but the main band is coming into Detroit and Ann Arbor now you might have a half inch or inch out of that oh Cheryl Pell gonna rub it in good morning from the sunny warm Gulf Coast sunshine is the tough thing right now boy how cloudy now officially no winter weather advisories in effect for southern lower but I'm gonna advise you that you could find some snowy roads here's a winter weather advisory and across the UP and what is this that is a wind chill advisory fortunately uh, Lake Michigan and it's still quote-unquote warmth uh, will be saving us from extreme cold Anthony McGurr any sun coming soon probably not a whole lot here's your radar forecast today and the key takeaway you should get is bursts of snow showers moving from west to east across southern lower and then uh, some isolated lake effect bands so we are into three o'clock this afternoon four or five you know you're still seeing some bursts so these are the kind of things that can you know produce a half inch or an inch of snow in a localized area kind of sneaks up on you and those drivers that don't pay attention you know they fly right through it and then they wind up in the ditch and maybe sometimes take you with them so be careful there total snowfall today we'll go all the way into this evening to midnight hey good morning mesa arizona and virginia burrows from jackson Alton Gore from Atlanta, Atlanta, Michigan, or Atlanta, Georgia. Hey, Eric Bell from Rockwood. Good morning. So we're looking at, you know, remember, this is lake effect. So I like to take the model output and double it for the heaviest spot. So where you're seeing two or three inches, there could be a fourth or a fifth inch somewhere in here, uh, south and west of the Grand Rapids area and in the far southwest. And then northwest lower, Kalkaska, Grayling, Gaylord, uh, Charlevoix, probably a three to six inch patch, and same in the typical areas of the UP. And then as you get over to the east side of the state, you see some one and two inch stretches, maybe one indicated here in Genesee County. So you will have to watch out for some isolated uh, accumulating snowfall. Now, Oh, okay, Alton Gore from Atlanta, Georgia. Good, hot Atlanta, right? Um, so next we'll focus on what looks like a compact but little snow system coming across northern Michigan. Um, 
Thursday. I'm trying to keep track of the days here. And then the weekend looks fairly snowy across all of Michigan. Not a blockbuster, but definitely uh, some snowy weather. And with the cold weather right now, we're getting help from the lakes, even if it's not a true lake effect situation. So we're looking at the European model. Now we're going into tomorrow morning, okay? And boy, these temperatures are cold aloft. So I'd be surprised if the lake effect totally shuts off just because of the cold. As we go into tomorrow afternoon, the wind flow will become less favorable. And this is what I'm talking about with a, a quick little snow system coming across the northern half of lower Michigan. This is a solid two to four incher probably. It darts across northern lower Michigan while southern lower Michigan stays out of it. I'd use a Bay City to Muskegon type line. Hey, good morning, Renee from Paradise, Michigan. And then we're into Friday. And this has been advertised by the models all along. A storm developing off to the east and then pulling another shot of colder, disturbed air. So when when I look at this kind of pattern, uh, this is Saturday night. When I look at this kind of pattern, it's cyclonic flow picking up moisture off of the Great Lakes and just a general snowfall, one to three inches, with definitely heavier enhancements along the shorelines putting them at three to six or so. And this is Sunday night and it's still going and then winding down. And that's why I say second half of the weekend could be generally off and on snowy. Then the next thing I wanna show you is the warm up that I've talked to the weather service and they still feel like it's coming. And we're going out now to February 20th. This is the end of the model, 10 days out. But everything kind of shows that when you see these red lines, that's temperatures above the freezing mark basically and showing some mild air pouring in but notice still just deep cold just the north so we're going to be in that fight zone and i would say we're going to be back and forth a couple of mild days a couple of cold days a couple of mild a couple of cold and that also spells storminess too okay now this is the extended version folks you're going to get the real geekoid stuff here, we're going to look at the surface temperature anomaly, just so you could see what's going to happen out into the future. Hey, good morning, Edward McCormick uh, from Mount Pleasant. Okay, so we're into Wednesday. And when you see green, blue, purple, that's temperatures colder than normal. When you see the orange and reds, that's temperatures warmer than normal. And we're into Thursday, and then as we go toward Friday, th late Thursday, we go slightly warmer than normal into Saturday. And then as that colder air comes in and that snow shower pattern I showed you, Sunday we turn colder, and that lasts into Monday and Tuesday. But as we get out into the future, now this is the U.S. model, which is a little bit colder right now than the European. But when we get out to 10 days out, you see that warm up and you see the cold. So my point being there is you're not going to have one type of weather for long. You're going to have two to three days of each different type of weather alternating cold and warm. And it looks like the moisture will continue to come. Hey, thanks for folks sticking in with me here. Good morning, Pat Joy from Arizona and Rick Neal. Thanks for watching. Six to 10 day forecast, uh, leaning toward normal temperatures. Eight to 14 day, December 17th to the 23rd. Um, slight chance it'll be warmer than normal. Three to four week forecast showed this to you yesterday. <laughs> Roads are a mess in the UP. White Christmas? Uh, I still think so, yes. I still think so, but it's a little ways out. Um, but that three to four week forecast into January 3rd is for warmer than normal conditions. Hey, Bill Wright from Oscoda. You're welcome for the detailed info. So I'll try to recap it for you. Southwest lower, you got messy roads today with lake effect. Some of that is going to come over toward Ann Arbor, Detroit, Flint, be 
on the watch out for just little stretches, five miles or so, where the road gets the half inch or inch of snow on it. I always say the first inch of snow is the most dangerous inch because 95% of the people don't slow down on that, okay? Uh, let's see, someone wants to know, Elizabeth wants to know, will we have snow underground for Christmas? I do believe we will. Hey, thank you, Ryan Lynch. I need, <laughs> need a crown. No, don't don't go there. Um, that'll break down. Tomorrow should be an okay travel day. And then Thursday, a uh, two to four inch solid snow comes across the northern half of lower and the UP. The weekend now looking definitely more wintry than not, especially the second half of the weekend and early next week. So we'll keep you updated on that. It's the time of year where it's always changing now. So I'll keep watching the models and keep watching all the data. And if something changes, I will let you know. Make sure you check my posts on MLive. And thanks for joining me. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa.